Okay, so I am going to be doing a very quick video here and I'm going to teach you how to make simple soy wax without, I can promise you no frosting, but I'm going to show you and give you some tips how to get your wax because soy wax it, it's, it's um, frosty and and um, you know it it it's very rough when it cools down it has a lot of rough edges and stuff that a lot of people experience okay so you can use basically any soy that you wish but um, follow the company's recommendation and this company I purchased container soy wax is from um, it's American soy and um, basically this wax here is what I'm going to use I'm gonna measure this out and I'm using this jar here and um, my fragrances I'm using honey I wash the kids and a bit of brown sugar and I have my wick and um, yeah so I will measure this out and I will heat this to 160 as they recommended and add fragrance at 140 and my dye at 140 so let's get started this is gonna be a fun project okay guys so I'm um, melting my wax and I'm using a double boiler I have water in this um, pan here and my wax is sorry it's steaming up my wax is is it is you need one of these pouring containers um, a pour pot it's called and some candles candle I'll, I'll probably leave a link for some for the candle places that you can go to to buy um, equipment that you will need to make this candle okay so what I have here I have my fragrance um, uh, this is what 0 0.7 ounces of the honey and the brown sugar and um, how to how to choose a size wick if with your container because you will need to know this um, okay you get a ruler and you measure the outside of across the container whatever container you're using so I have my ruler here and uh, this is called a diameter so it's about three inches across so basically you will when you buy um, when you're when you're uh, your supply they have um, wicks that are like two, two to three inches three to four inches and basically that's how you choose what size wick you will need for your container so I'm using um, a zinc core and I'm using I think this one is the two to three I think but I know which one I'm using so I'm gonna get my glue stick and I'm gonna glue my wick down to the bottom because so I just need one wick for this container and when you're choosing a wick too sometimes because of the type of fragrance this is why you have to do a lot of testing depending on the fragrance and the color this wick I choose this one specifically because I know that the fragrance and the color and the wax that I'm using is going to burn this is going to be able to burn the amount of wax across the diameter plus the fact that this is a little bit of a thick fragrance it's a bit of a thicker fragrance heavier so sometimes you might need to wick up or wick down depending so those are the things you have to consider when choosing a wick I do not use a Fahrenheit thermometer I use this manual thermometer here and you could use a candy candy um, candy thermometer 
those are the best thermometers to use because you want to measure your your um you want to make sure you're doing the correct measurement because with the digital one that you can you know um infrared i should say the infrared ones it doesn't read um it doesn't give you the right reading so you want to be on point with for when it comes to candle making you want to be on point because you want to make sure you're adding at the correct temperature okay so i'm gonna wait for my mines to um melt and i will bring you back and while i'm melting i'm going to make sure i stick my wick down all right guys so i'm at 160 here that was pretty fast and i'm gonna add my colors I'm gonna add um, two different type of yellows. I'm adding. I'm adding a very, um, a very uh, bright yellow, sunshine yellow. I just put that in there. And I don't have my stick to stir. Oh, there we go. And I just let that melt into the wax. And I'm gonna put another yellow as it's another yellow, it's a little bit darker of a yellow, and um I'm gonna put much in there. Yeah, that's about enough. I think. I put it in at 140. Cause like, I sorry, I put it in at 160 because this this um colorant it needs to be melted immediately. If I go below six 160, it's not gonna melt. So I'm going to take the knot of temperature reading, see where I'm at. I'm supposed to add the fragrance at 140, but this company here have such, every company have different instructions. And I bought the fragrance from another company, so um, that's something you have to consider. That's why you have to test do a lot of testing I've done my share of testing over the years Ugh. okay so I'm at 140 I'm going to pour this in my fragrance let's see because let me tell you what happens with some companies. Some company fragrances will not work. It will not work because it requires a higher heating. It needs to be heated like some of them need to be. I like at 170, 180, or else it will pool at the bottom of your candle, and that can start a fire. You know, all the all the oil will just pool at the bottom, start a fire, and you don't get a complete scented candle. So stir. Some people stir for two. I'm always stirring and stirring in between. I don't really have a time. So I'm going to put that aside for now and go ahead and wick my candle, uh, wick my jar. So I use this, the glue gun thing there and be careful with this and you want to make sure you center it. 
there's all kinds of apparatus for centering me I just do it eyeball yep. so that's it it's centered and let's get back through to my um let me get back. I didn't check the color of my um let's see. Let's drop some here. That's that's the color I'm going to get. I think. <laughs> I usually drop some on a parchment paper, put it in the freezer for a second, and that's how you get a real true color. Or you can freeze a spoon, drop it on the spoon, and, uh, and you get your color immediately. Those are my tips to you. And this will have to... Um, uh, let's check temperature. This, this has to cool right down. I'm cooling this down to about 105. So I'll let it cool down, bring you back when it's where it's supposed to be. All right, so <laughs> I am way below a hundred. I think I'm like at ninety. So you can pour if you want to around that, um, and don't pour too fast, like. Pour a nice, easy, steady, not too fast. Looks like I measured <laughs> wrong measurements. Okay. I know what I did wrong, but that's fine. That's fine. I think that's good. And I am finished pouring, and I'm going to let this sit and do its thing. I need a, um, I need to make sure this wick is standing in the middle where it's supposed to be. I just put a popsicle stick and that's it and we will wait for it to calm down <laughs> I mean cool down all right be back okay guys yep it's my candle is finish made and this is the result of the candle and as you can see over here this is what you call wet spots and basically that's the candle shrinking but that is okay because when you put your label on who cares and this is 100% soy I did fill it up a bit more because I didn't I wanted a much fuller candle and um, yeah this is my soy candle and uh, if you have any questions, you can post your questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video. I'll probably be making some wax melt soon with my soy wax. Bye-bye so for now, guys. Take care. Oh, I forgot. I have to cut the wick. Huh? Silly me. Oh, silly me.
quarter of an inch, I really. Yeah, so there we go. Now that's done. Okay. Alright guys, bye bye for now.